There are many electric vehicles or EVs on the market, but what if I told you that a revolution is on the horizon that will completely alter everything? A solar-powered car that you can drive forever without ever needing to recharge. What is this car exactly and how does it operate? Welcome to Car & Coffee and today we're talking about Aptera. Remember to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon if you're new to this channel. Do you have any queries in mind? Stay tuned because we'll respond to each one of them. With that note, let's get started. Today, the concept of solar-powered vehicles is not particularly new. General Motors pioneered the solar car concept with a solar test car in the 1950s, so this concept has been around for over 70 years. Everyone knew this, but no one tried to implement the idea because the cost of building something similar was too high. Therefore, developing a solar-powered car would have been a complete failure. But in 2005, a company stepped in. It's Aptera. They created the idea of a solar-powered car, but it didn't solve the problem. The technology had improved, but it was not yet mature. We can sum it up by saying they arrived a little early. The company met its inevitable demise in 2011. But as Elon Musk once said, if something is important to you, do it regardless of the consequences. The company was revived in 2019 and it claims to be doing well at present. Moreover, they are in the business of improving the automotive sector. These laid the foundation for the first automobiles powered by solar energy. Which aspect of a solar car is the most important? Yes, the solar panel. In fact, they use monocrystalline cells. However, the surface is iridescent and changes color depending on the direction of movement due to the powder crystal cells. So this will be the first topic we discuss. Interestingly, the back is held together by a copper matrix. Therefore, it will not lose capacity even if the cell breaks or microcracks. Even if it's ruptured or completely shattered, the cell can still provide about 95% of the performance of a normal cell without damage. For long-term viability, the solar installation packages are required for at least 10 years. The best way to maximize your profit from this car. The manufacturing process can stress cells. Therefore, it's advantageous to have cells understood in this aspect. Each Aptera comes standard with a dashboard and roof solar panels with an optional bonnet or tailgate options. Daily solar charging can be increased from 16 to 40 miles daily for an additional $900, which is definitely a fair price. So if you're interested in buying that first ever solar car, we recommend spending the extra $900. However, if you opt for the upgrade pack, your visibility will be relatively limited as the solar panels cover all the rear glass. But Aptera claims this is not a problem because they've already thought about it and developed a vision system to assist you if you lose sight. Aptera's fully updated 700 watt solar system is impressive. To achieve that, you need two huge 350 watt panels. Also, you can get 700 watts of power because the cells change along the car's body curve and receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the day. With the same level of solar output, it would give just 12 miles if we compare it with the Tesla Model 3. So how does Aptera cover 40 miles? Good question. The answer is that it was made at Hogwarts. No, I'm not serious. If you think otherwise, you should refrain from watching Harry Potter. Don't tell me it's magic. I still don't know how the broom flew in that movie. Not going back to that topic. Instead, we'll have this discussion on another day. How does the Aptera go 40 miles? The car's design offers a solution. The vehicle looks futuristic. Aptero is so awesome and was received well when it was first announced. And it was even spotted on the set of a Star Trek movie in 2009. This vehicle is entirely different from your typical family station wagon. Every effort has been made to achieve the lowest possible weight and drag coefficient. Drag is reduced to 0.13 thanks to the teardrop shape and full wheels that flutter in the wind. To put this into perspective, the Tesla Model S Plaid has a drag coefficient of 0.208, compared to 0.27 for the Toyota Camry and 0.37 for the Cadillac Escalade. Looking at these numbers, we can see how 0.13 is negligibly low. The weight of the car is the second factor supporting it. The car's material, weighing only 2,000 pounds, is flexible and seven times more potent than steel. This feature gives the car an edge over its competitors in the race. The vehicle is four times more efficient than typical electric sedans due to its weight and sophisticated aerodynamic design. The company claims they can travel at about 10 miles per kilowatt hour. 
EVs are industry record breakers capable of driving up to 1,000 miles in a single charge. The car is meant to be a substantial environmental success, and using fewer fossil fuels is always a good idea. However, helping EV owners reduce their dependence on grid power benefits businesses and customers. We know that we will receive a lot of requests from you. What if the sun doesn't come out or the car runs out of fuel? But Uptera hopes the vehicle will never face any issues related to running out of gas. However, the car can also be charged like a regular EV. They offer 25, 40, 60, and 100 kilowatt hour battery packs. Even a typical outlet used for your TV or laptop can reach 10 miles per kilowatt hour, adding up to 15 miles per hour. So if you leave it plugged in overnight, you'll have 120 miles by 8 a.m. Level 2 fast chargers can be installed by an electrician but are not required. Many problems can be solved by increasing the kilowatt hours. The car currently has only three wheels, and this unique feature might seem like a problem. But Aptera evenly distributes the weight. Thus, the company claims that you won't notice any difference. Even though it's a two-seater, the inside of the car is spacious. The manufacturer claims the vehicle is so roomy that you can sleep by folding the seat. Isn't it amazing? The manufacturer claims the car can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. Pretty fast for such a small car, don't you think? More expensive model cars also have driving assistance features. Much information about it is yet to be revealed, but it works like any other driver assistance system. I hope you get the picture. So the two remaining questions are, when will it be available and how much will the car cost? A car or release date has yet to be announced but production was rumored to start in 2022, so we can expect it to begin before the end of the year. But that didn't happen, so 2023 is a safe bet. Additionally, the price of the car can range from $25,900 to $49,000. Starting at $25,000 is relatively inexpensive, so this car will definitely revolutionize the entire electric car market. Although it has only three wheels, the vehicle does not require charging and lasts long. As I said, production was supposed to start in 2022, but news about its manufacture is yet to be confirmed. We know Aptera is planning to offer these cars internationally by 2024, so let's see what happens. Currently, if you go to Aptera's website, you can see fantastic shots of this car. It completely looks like a car from a sci-fi movie. A vehicle with three wheels doesn't sound too great, but when you look at this thing, you realize how futuristic it can be. If you're interested in the solar car, you can visit their website and reserve your vehicle now. It is rumored that production will begin this year. If you're an investor and think this is an excellent opportunity, you can go to the same website and start investing in the company. And you don't even have to invest too much. You can start with just $210. Well, I have to admit, Aptera brings a lot to the table. And that's all about Aptera, the car of the future. Who knows? We cannot deny that it has some great new features, and we would love to see what Aptera will amaze us with. If we get further updates, we'll bring that to you immediately, so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments what you think is the most exciting feature of this car. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.